Ball, Steve, Katie out of Dallas, Texas. Just wondering in your professional expert opinion on Josh Hamilton. And where the heck is that crack of head going next? Holy shit. I just heard a woman refer to a white guy as a crackerhead. Now I'm going to go ahead and assume for the duration of this video that Katie meant crackhead because Josh Hamilton had a crack and heroin addiction in the early 2000s. But if she meant crackerhead, I want to state explicitly right now and on the record for eternity, Balls Deep does not condone racism of any sort against any race or religion, even Jehovah's Witnesses. None of that stuff is okay on Balls Deep, Katie. I'm going to assume you meant crackhead. Katie's question was, and it took me forever to write that sign, is what do the Rangers do with Josh Hamilton? He's a free agent after this year, which means he can go and sign with any team he wants. Now, he's a hugely popular player, player for the Rangers. He's one of the three best players I've ever seen. The three best players I've ever seen in baseball are Ken Griffey, Barry Bonds, Cheater, and Josh Hamilton. Now, for the sake of argument, and this is something that I am pretty vociferous about, I believe most players are cheaters one way or another. Whatever they take, I mean, you can't be this good. Ray Lewis is an NFL linebacker. You can't be hitting guys at age 35 with 3% body fat if you're not on something. A human body can't do it. You will break down. So let's forgive Barry Bonds for that. And I'd like to harken back to when I first moved out to San Francisco. 2001 was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Every day, Bonds would hit a home run. It was incredible. And I'd go up to Giants fans. I'd be like, you know he's juicing. They're like, you don't know that. And at the same time, they'd be they'd get so mad about George Bush, who said Iraq had WMDs. I'm like, it's the same thing, you know. You use your head. George Bush is a liar. You use your head. Barry Bonds is a juice head. But, you know, people like to root for the home team, be it Barry Bonds or George Bush. Anyhow, enough of that. Actually, it's a little hot in here. I could probably take off my coat. Oh, brother. Oh, huh. Look at that. Look what we got under there. Uh, anyhow, answer your question, Katie. Josh Hamilton, one of the best players I've ever seen. Stays in there with left-handed pitching. Swings at a lot of low stuff, but he can also drive it out, as we've all seen. He will run through a wall. He's an incredible defender. He shouldn't play center field because it just wears him down. And this guy has, like, the body of a 50-year-old. You know, when you start drugs, I mean, when you do heroin and coke, it's going to ruin your body. Crack. But I don't think that's what ruined his body. I think it's something more. I think it's the tattoos. Look at Josh Hamilton. He has all those tattoos all over his body. And you know what? A lot of people say weed is a gateway drug. Mm -mm. Tattoos are a gateway drug. You know, and, jo and Josh Hamilton's gotten rid of the drugs. He doesn't do drugs anymore. He's, he's traded his drugs for Jesus, which some people may say six of one, half dozen of the other. Other people may say, you know what? He's not doing drugs. If he wants to quote scripture all the time, let him quote scripture. I don't really care. Because he's actually good, unlike Tebow. Like, Tebow credits God for being good. God wants nothing to do with Tebow. God's like, dude, you have the lowest passing rating in the league. Only Blaine Gabbard is worse than you. He's the rookie on the Jaguars. God's like, get away from me, Tebow. God loves Josh Hamilton. God hates Tim Tebow. To answer your question about Josh Hamilton, you let him walk. He's going to be 30 years old. He's got the body of a 50-year-old. He's had drug problems. I mean, whether he's awesome or not, and he's awesome, you can't commit five years on $150, $140 million to a guy that's had drug problems. And recently, that you know, it's been in the news that Hamilton had a couple of drinks. He went out, had a couple of pops. You can you can Google the pictures of him, girls taking uh, body shots off of him and putting whipped cream on his nipples. And that's his business. We've all done that. We've all done that. But we haven't all done heroin, and we haven't all got all those tattoos. Speaking of tattoos, I read an article that if you have three or more tattoos, the American Medical Association says you have like an eight times as likely chance of being a sociopath. And what does tat Hamilton have? More than three tattoos. Great player. I don't know how many more years he has left in the league. My guess is under four because he's going to break down. It's just, that's what happens. I mean, if you do drugs, your body's going to break down. So thank you. I love him. I'm a Rangers fan. Took me forever to write that sign. But you got to let Josh Hamilton walk. The Rangers minors are loaded. You got to let him walk.